I think that we have to keep in mind that until we properly educate a new generation of black children, we're never going to get out of this condition. We get on yeah, trying yeah. to solve a problem with black people who are psychologically dead. The great majority of blacks in this world, not just in America, but in this world, are so filled with white supremacy. Of blacks in this world, not just in America, but in this world, are so filled with white supremacy. Of blacks in this world, not just in America, but in this world, are so filled with white supremacy that to try to re-engineer their minds to look after their own best interests is almost a waste of time. What we need to do is build educational institutions so that the children are properly nurtured the right way. What we need to do is build educational institutions so that the children are properly nurtured the right way. What we need to do is build educational institutions so that the children are properly nurtured the right way so that when they become of age they can automatically pick up the banner of Pan-Africanism and carry forward. We give our children to the white man for the first 17 years of their lives, which are the best years for conditioning the mind. When you want to condition somebody, you condition them from childhood. You don't condition them at 25 or 45. You condition them at childhood. And when you have to recondition a people, the only way it's really possible to do it effectively is if you isolate them from society and then recondition them, which is what you do when you enroll into the military. The military know they're getting someone who's psychologically damaged from their stand of uh, frame of reference, so they have to do what? Take you out of the environment which you created and recreate you all over again. So I'm saying that the school is the most revolutionary institution we can build. I think sometimes we focus too much on getting too much done with people who are not inclined to carry out the mission. It does not matter how well the blueprint has been designed if the people who have to carry out the blueprint are incompetent and disinterested in doing so. You can put together a master engineering program for the best business, the best farm, the best distribution network, the best shipping company, but if the black people you hire can care less about the vision, it will fail anyway. So we have to look at raising another generation of black folk, and a lot of people don't want to hear that, because we want to get, get started now. We want to do something right now, and we should do something right now. We should just sit and wait for white supremacy to claim our lives, but we have to recognize that at best, all we can do is lay the groundwork because most of our people are psychologically damaged. They are in love with white people, even the revolution. Because most of our people are psychologically damaged. They are in love with white people, even the revolution. Because most of our people are psychologically damaged. They are in love with white people, even the revolutionaries are in love with white people. When you study a culture, okay? So we have to have another generation of black children to actually carry out that plan. Remember, slavery lasted 242 years before it fell. And the only reason why it fell is because those brothers and sisters at the second half of the 19th century possessed a certain type of a consciousness that previous generations did not have that brought about the destruction of that. It's the same thing with African colonialism. It fell when it fell because that population were successfully, those leaders were successfully educated on the philosophy of Pan-Africanism and Garveyism in particular to bring about his demise. If the children ain't ready, it doesn't matter how well we designed it, it will fail anyway.